वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई जी सी एस सी विद सदफ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस और इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री लेट एस गो थ्रू द क्विक रिविजन ऑफ टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस वी विल सॉल्व सम क्वेश्चन फ्राम पेपर टू द टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस लेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच प्रोडक्ट्स आर फॉर्म एट एनोड एंड द कैथोड वेन Electricity is passed through molten lead bromide. So the compound is lead bromide. It is a it is an ionic compound having two parts, lead as metal and bromine as a non-metal. Lead bromide when it is electrolyzed, it dissociates into two ions, lead ion positive, bromide ion negative. Lead ion will be discharged at cathode. bromide ion will be discharged at anode so lead ions are discharged at cathode and then they gain electrons and become lead atoms bromide ions reach anode electrode there they lose electrons and become bromine molecules so bromine molecules will be at anode and lead atoms will be at cathode so option b is the right answer bromine molecules and lead atoms so because they are asking the products that's why we will choose not the ions but we will choose the final products clear question number 2 when substance x is electrolyzed the amount of gases p and q formed is shown substance x is getting electrolyzed this question is very clear uh, about showing that two gases are getting deposited p and q and you can see the gas p is double than q so it is surely hydrogen and oxygen gas hydrogen is 2 ratio oxygen is 1 so 2 ratio 1 it means that the products are hydrogen and oxygen first option is concentrated aqueous sodium chloride concentrated hydrochloric acid dilute sulfuric acid and molten lead bromide we will see one by one concentrated aqueous sodium chloride concentrated means it is having less water more solute so it will be dissociated into sodium ion and chloride ion and hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion sodium ions are not discharged because they are more reactive hydrogen ion will reach at cathode and produce hydrogen gas and chloride ions will be discharged at anode making chlorine gas so the products are hydrogen and chlorine which does not match with hydrogen and oxygen option 2 is concentrated hydrochloric acid also results in hydrogen and chlorine gas dilute sulfuric acid sulfate ions are not discharged at electrode electrode means positive electrode anode ester hydroxide ion will be discharged and they produce oxygen gas and hydrogen ion will be discharged at cathode hydrogen gas so yes this is uh, the correct option hydrogen and oxygen because they are the products of dilute sulfuric acid electrolysis The last option is saying molten lead bromide it simply produces lead and bromine because this is just a molten compound so the same ions will be discharged so option C will be the right answer so option C will be the right answer question number 3 what are the products at electrodes when dilute sulfuric acid is electrolyzed using inert electrodes as we discussed before also dilute sulfuric acid it is giving two ions like hydrogen ion and sulfate ions and two ions from water hydrogen and hydroxide ion hydrogen will be discharged at cathode making hydrogen gas sulfate ions are not discharged because they are bulky ions instead hydroxide ions will be discharged making oxygen gas so cathode hydrogen anode oxygen 
वी विल चूज द सेम आंसर कैथोड हाइड्रोजन एंड एनोड ऑक्सीजन सो बी सीम्स टू बी द राइट आंसर या बी इज द राइट आंसर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज पास सेपरेटली थ्रू कंसनट्रेटेड हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड कंसनट्रेटेड एक्स सोडियम क्लोराइड एंड डायल्यूट सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड इन विच रोज आर इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस प्रोडक्ट्स करेक्टली नेम्ड फर्स्ट वन इज कंसनट्रेटेड हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड कंसनट्रेटेड सोडियम क्लोराइड डायल्यूट सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड लेट सी द प्रोडक्ट्स फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट वन इज सेंग कैथोड हाइड्रोजन येस हाइड्रोजन इज अ पॉजिटिव आइन इट विल बी रिलीज एट कैथोड नेगेटिव इलेक्ट्रोड एंड क्लोरिन विल बी एट एनोड यू नो वाई बिकॉज एच सी एल इज गिविंग हाइड्रोजन एंड क्लोरिन बिकॉज दिस वन इज कंसनट्रेटेड सो क्लोरिन आइज आर डोमिनेटिंग सो दे विल बी डिस्चार्ज कंसनट्रेटेड एक्वेस सोडियम क्लोराइड अगेन सेम प्रोडक्ट्स सोडियम आइन्स आर नॉट डिस्चार्ज Hydrogen ion will be discharged, making hydrogen gas at negative electrode. Chloride ion are always discharged, making chlorine gas at anode. So sodium and chlorine. Sodium is not discharged. That's why it's a, it's the wrong option. Dilute sulfuric acid. It makes hydrogen at cathode and oxygen at anode. So yes, first and third options are correct. so c is the right option c1 and 3 this one is the right option which row describes the electrolysis of molten bro- potassium bromide molten is very simple the products are just potassium at negative electrode bromine at positive electrode so potassium ions at cathode bromide ions will be at anode and the final products will be at anode bromine because it's a molecule bromine b r o m i n e not ion bromide ion okay it will be molecule the final product and product at cathode and the product at cathode will be potassium so b looks the right option The diagram shows the electrolysis of concentrated hydrochloric acid and concentrated aqueous sodium chloride using carbon electrodes. When they use the words concentrated, it means water is less. यानी hydrogen and hydroxide ions are less. Hydrogen and chlorine ions are more. Similarly, sodium and chloride ions are more than water. concentrated hydrochloric acid and concentrated sodium aqueous sodium chloride at which electrode hydrogen is produced so positive negative positive negative first of all remember that hydrogen is a positive ion it can never be discharged at positive electrode so electrode 1 and electrode 3 are already gone from the option you will see electrode 2 or electrode 4 so concentrated hydrochloric acid it produces hydrogen which reaches cathode so yes concentrated aqueous sodium chloride also produces hydrogen ion because sodium ions are not discharged hydrogen ions will be reaching at cathode so yes both electrode 2 and electrode 4 will be having hydrogen as a product so d is the right option electrodes 2 and 4 i hope this video is very helpful for you thank you for watching and if you have any question you can ask me in the comments and good luck for your exams goodbye